Hey, Sports Choir, we're here with Coach Kaye from Georgia Tech Volleyball. Just overall impressions of the off season, what were some good, and what have you seen from your players just through the summer into the yeah, fall? Uh, you know, we've been working really hard. Um, I think we had some good competition in the spring, which has helped us just kind of in the chemistry on the court a little bit with players that hadn't spent a lot of time on the court, so it was good to get them a chance to compete before um, this fall. Uh, and then this summer, you know, we the girls worked hard. A lot of people stayed throughout the whole summer, and since June, we had everybody uh, pretty much back in here working with our strength coach, playing open gyms and things like that. Uh, so we were able to just kind of get to know each other a little bit with so many uh, new players, you know, it was a good time to spend the summer just kind of getting to know each other and, and um, you know, we're, we're hitting the season uh, a step ahead when it comes to chemistry and things like that with our team. And one last mention of last season, obviously you had a successful year, winning yeah. record, but did not make the postseason. Yeah. When did you put that away that last season and carry on to this new year? Or do you still use parts of that from last season, especially with your returners, use that as motivation for the early portion or throughout this year? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, uh, it's in the back of your mind. You know, it's not an experience that, that it was fun to go through. But I think that one of the biggest things we'll take from there is what got us there, you know, what kind of work ethic and what kind of things got us there as a volleyball team and as a program. And the goal is to sustain that and being able to build on top of that. And so take the, all the good that we did do last year and be able to continue to grow this program as we move forward. I was looking at the roster. I think this is the first year you've had every player on the roster, someone you recruited or someone that you, yeah. when you even when you first got the job that you were able to retain right. from the previous coaching staff. What's that like to finally have every single player on your team that you were scouting since their high school days? Is that yeah. build a comfort level or you know what you're going to get? For overall? sure. I mean, we definitely uh, we, we knew those kids from their younger ages, um, you know, but I was very fortunate with I, what I inherit here um, from the previous coaching staff as well. And uh, it's, it's good to get kids that are you know, coming in and they're hearing about, they have been hearing for two or three years, you know, where this culture was going, where this program was going, um, what the expectations are. And so it just makes it an easier transition because we don't, it, it, it's, we hit this as such a higher um, part as far as where we are with our culture and our vision and, and things that we're doing. Um, so these kids are coming in already knowing that this is what we're about. Um, where with the, the, the previous players, we, we, had to, we had to build that. And they did a great job helping me do that. Um, and, and now our job is to sustain it and make it better. Seven freshmen, I think, officially on the roster. Two things. One, have you ever had a year where you had so many freshmen come in, even, no. in your, even your previous <laughs> coaching? Okay. No, well, we knew not anywhere. No. That leads me to part two. Just how do you deal with that, having so many new players? And I'm sure we'll get to we'll do a breakdown, but I'm yeah. sure a lot of them are going to get some playing time, especially early in the year. How do you get them prepared for sure. inter-college uh, play? You know, we're putting pressure on them to, to perform. Uh, that was one of the reasons why a lot of them wanted to come here because of that opportunity too. It's it's you don't get that opportunity as a freshman, and very you know in a lot of places to come in and be able to impact the program immediately. So. It's a burden, but it's also an opportunity that they have. Uh, you know, it's, it's we almost can't treat you like a freshman. You got to come in, and the expectations are high that, that you're doing things at a high level. Um, but I think a lot of them are responding really well to that. They're comfortable uh, with that role, and, and they're coming in here knowing that that's the opportunity that they would have. Uh, so it, it's been great. I mean, it's definitely not ideal to have such a big class like that. Uh, you know, but that's kind of was the situation that, that I was in when I, when you know I came in, and so we're we're definitely uh, maximizing the opportunity to, to get the best talent here possible that, that we found, and and with that, um, getting them ready for a big girls game here fast. Good. All right, let's do a position breakdown. We'll start with the the libero or defensive specialist. Uh -huh. I, th I don't know. I was looking at the roster. I don't see too many returners on that side. Or yeah. have your how's that looking? Have you transitioned anybody and maybe throw a returner into that spot or a freshman? How's that looking? So right now we have uh, Sam Knapp and, and Emily Becker, and they're both playing libero. Um, and we have a transfer from Virginia Coral. 
who has to sit a year because of the in, in, in her conference transfer rules. So she's, she won't be playing this year. She'll be practicing with us, but she won't be playing. So we got Emily and Sam, who are legitimate liberals in there. And then um, Alessia, our freshman from Italy, has spent a little bit of time in that position. That's not her position. Um, but fundamentally, she's very sound. And so that could be a place where she can help us a little bit. Uh, but it's, it's uh, mainly right now, the fight is between Emily and Sam to see who's going to be the starting girl. You have four matches in three days coming up. Is there a chance we'll see all four of those players you mentioned <laughs> in their other eligible ones in there at some point for in sure, that spot? For sure. You are going to see, I think, everybody in our roster mm -hmm. throughout this weekend. It's, uh, you know, we're, we need everyone. Uh, we're going to be a young team, so we're going to be very inconsistent. And so we're going to need people to step up at different times and different roles and uh, you know I, I think that having a great team chemistry I think it's going to really help just that situation and, and make it a little easier but we do have some great depth uh, within our roster I think more than we ever had um, in every position so I think that it's it gives us a little bit of comfort to know that whoever is out there is going to get the job done. And then in setter you have Gabby Bender returning and uh, she sees, was very confident in, in helping the team and her being a senior. Yeah. Uh, how has she performed so far this off season or this training camp? And who are some other players that can be in that position? So Gabby and Nicole um, are both of our setters. Um, very different players, different strengths, different weaknesses. Uh, you know, so I, I think it's going to be, they're going to complement each other a lot. Uh, and so the main thing will be, I think, that, that Gabby has a little more experience, a little better feel for the team right now. And, and Nicole is gaining that as we go. Um, more physical player than Gabby uh, as far as size and things like that. But, but Gabby has been there in that environment, you know. And so I think that that, that helps her a little bit. But I, I, I feel good. I mean, either one of them, um, they're performing at a very high level, and uh, we're going to be in good hands no matter who's out there. And then going to your middles, you have Sydney Wilson, a senior, uh, Cody uh, Combi, she's gotten some time as well. Yeah. Uh, how is that group looking? And uh, Sydney's uh, been a veteran for you. Yeah. And, and Cody has her moments last year as well, where she, I think, was even starting some matches. Yeah. Uh, just how, how are the middles overall looking for the team? Uh, looking good. I mean, I think that that's uh, one of our strengths. It's going to be our middle attack. Um, not only with Sydney and Cody, but also Lauren Berkey, um has been doing a great job this offseason, has really stepped up for this team, and, and it's playing at a really high level. Um, and then we also have Kendall Wilson, who's coming in as a freshman, Sydney's sister, mm -hmm. uh, who also, you know, plays at a very high level. I think Kendall, she's going to have to pick up the, the pace a little bit uh, to the college game, and that's always a tough position to come in as freshman. And, and, match the intensity of what's going on around you. Um, but we have some really good depth there too, and I think that again, different strength and weaknesses, better blockers, better quick attackers, better hitters are in front of setters, others behind. Um, so that will give me options to kind of find out what I need to do to win. And on, lastly, on the positions outside, you have uh, Gabby also and Ashley Askin. And how are they looking? Those are two seniors. So it looks like you have some veterans, at least with your outsides, that yeah. can help incorporate some of the other players. For sure. I mean, Gabby and Ashley are going to play uh, a very big role for us. That's the outside position is crucial to the success of any team. Uh, and the consistency in that position is really, really important. So having older players there is definitely a little comforting because you know uh, that they're a little more used to what the season is about and the grind and, and so um, you know our coaching staff has a lot of trust in them they've been having a great preseason uh, we also have Dominique Washington who's a, a freshman and then Alessia from Italy that that's also a freshman in that position and so that gives us a little bit of depth in there um, but Gabby and Ashley will definitely be the leaders um, in our court you know and, and we're going to put a lot of expectations on their back to be able to carry this team throughout the season. Yep, yeah, and then lastly, you have the Regency Invitational. I think since we've done these, I think you've started on the road every season, or at least you might have one match here, then you go on the road. 
how much of an advantage to have the start here at home and then also four matches in three days that's a lot to put on your team to start the year what yeah. do you, how are you going to handle that as far as just preparing for them to play so much competition yeah. when you're barely in fall camp or you're just ending fall camp yeah i mean i think that um i think our team needs to understand what this season is going to be about and we need to understand it quick and so i felt like being at home gives us the comfort of being at home so no other no better place to be pushed and put it throw it into the fire than at home um, you know so it's a great challenge um, it's going to be physically mentally um, very challenging we're playing some really great teams all four matches um, but it's also a great opportunity we play them in our home court we know what it's like to play here at O'Keefe and so um, you know, I think that we have a big opportunity in our hands to to start the year um, competing and playing some really good volleyball. So um, I, I think that that's more important than anything. And we won't go into the other three, but at least you have Auburn to start off with. I'm sure you've looked at some of their stuff. And just in general, how difficult is it to evaluate a team this time of year? I, you've played them before, so that's a good thing, right. but it's, they got a whole new set of players too. Do you just work on yourself and not even really give much film as far as to the team and preparations? Or do you actually look at last year's stuff for uh -huh. them? I mean, we, we look at it a little bit, uh, mainly just player tendencies. So I know that Auburn has a couple of players that were key players for them last year that are returning. They have about four or five starters that are returning. Okay. Um, so we do look at those kids and we just try to understand a little bit what their tendencies are. Their setter return, so we try to look at her pattern and, and how she likes to run the offense. Um, but it's mainly about our side, you know. It's, it's getting organized, understanding the system, especially with so many new players, um, different lineup combinations. How do we get out of situations? And there are so many variables out there for us to have to to deal with. Um, but I think it's great. I think that that Auburn team is feisty. They're a good team. And so I think that is a really fun match to start the year with because they will really set the tone for our players and they play hard and they get after it. And I think that that will help our team have to match their intensity would be really important. So um, very, very good team coming in to get, to get started with.